Hey, Seth. Hey, uh, I'll be with you later. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, I am going to be the one you're going to talk to. Okay. I'm going to be the watch guy in about 20 seconds ago. Right? <laughs> okay. Because they're busy and no the watch man is meeting with the actual sheriff and this watch man is leaving. Okay. okay. So I'm going to be the one you talk to. Okay. I'll uh, fill out the form with you. Okay. And, and we'll do a, uh, a complaint. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. If, like you had mentioned, you want to have a meeting with these two deputies to resolve your issue, uh, that is another option. Before, when when he came to talk to me, mm-hmm. uh, he told me what you wanted to have a sit down with these guys. I know. I, when, when he said sit down, I thought he meant a sit no, down no, 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 to, no. to do that. Yeah. Hold on, Seth. Because yeah. he told me whatever he told me. Yeah. So, whether or not it was accurate, I wanted to tell you what I did. I had okay. already called one of the deputies. I said, Hey, there's a Mr. Seth Aronson out here. What is this violation? He said panhandling uh, in the roadway is what he said. In the roadway. That's what he said. Okay. He said, I said, what is what is solicitation of vehicle, of motor vehicle? And I went, and I realized what he was talking about. Yeah. Um, it's not something I've cited anybody for. Yeah. I think I might, I might have, but it was not in this city. So I said, hey, he's interested in a conflict resolution meeting with you. When are you interested in that? He goes, oh, no problem. Um, Which said, it? Well, what time, Fletcher? Okay. Uh, I said, what time are you and your partner going to be, be available? He said, any t- today after two. So they get here at two. Okay. Um, but that's not what um, that's not what you're talking about, uh, from what I gathered. Unless you'd be interested in just having a meeting with those two guys and talking about it and say, why did you do this and why did you do this and what was this and wasn't I doing this and. You know, like just a, well, little, I would because a peace session, like between you two, because they said they cited you because you're out here panhandling. Okay. Were you, are you panhandling? I, like trying to get money, right? You're on a sidewalk with a sign. A sidewalk with a sign, which does not violate that and ordinance people, whatsoever. And people on a sidewalk uh, are the only people stopping for you. What do you mean? Well, like people walking, pedestrians. Are well, car, cars can stop, but I I was not flagging them down in any way or impeding them in any way. Okay, if you're holding up a sign, mm-hmm. uh, would, don't you think that's arguable that you're Not. asking vehicles to stop and give you money? But it's read, read, it. yeah, uh, you can read the, I mean, read the details of the law. There's absolutely nothing in that municipal code that I was in violation of and what, whatsoever. It specifically says you can't wave them down, you can't flag them down, you can't do anything, but what I was doing was not in violation of the law. Okay, now look, the deputies... Yeah. Cited you saying you are violating that section, mm-hmm. and you know the next is to go to court and fight it then. Well, absolutely. If he hadn't have grabbed me by my arm, twisted it behind my back, and thrown me on his his squad car, I'd probably just be doing that now. But he decided to do all that, and his partner went through my phone, which is a violation of my Fourth wow. Amendment rights. And as I watched him go through my phone and read off a number to his partner. They came back in. I asked him what he was doing. He denied that he had just gone through my phone when I watched him do it. Okay. So, so, so there's so a little the more to it than resolution isn't going to help you. Well, I would if they would explain why they did all those things. <laughs> so really, I can't say that that would occur. They would probably tell you we didn't go through your phone. Even though I watched you. We didn't it. slam you on the. We didn't twist your arm. Mm-hmm. You know, well, that's, we're violating the vehicle code section. Well, then we well we, we can read that we can read the the code section together, and I like because it, 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 we just going to say yeah we did. Well, I think you do your best bet is to fight it in court. Well, that's great, except that last night I had another cop come up. This time I was at a place uh, at 20th and I, and I was standing on the sidewalk away from business. Again, not violating any of that law, and he threatened to arrest me if I didn't stop. Yeah, is there another uh, Lancaster Municipal Code regarding panhandling that you're not aware of? No, that, he's, this is the one they wrote down, and I read both before and after it. The one before it talks about aggressive panhandling, the six... I guess it's 63620. Talks about aggressive panhandling, which I wasn't doing. 30 talks about panhandling itself. And then uh, 040 talks about the, the penalties for it. And it's the entirety of your municipal code. And the fact that officers seem to think that it says things it doesn't worries me. The fact that Officer Bertola told me that if I had had, even though I have a medical cannabis card, if he had caught me with medical cannabis, he could have 
confiscated and arrested me despite my medical cannabis card because apparently he doesn't understand the law, that law either. And it's kind of frightening that, you know, in a city like this, there's so many officers of law who don't seem to understand the laws that they're enforcing. Well, there's <laughs> arguments to every position. Yeah, that's... Hello. All right, hang on a second. All right, do you want to talk to those guys and come back after two and talk to them, or do you want to file uh, a formal complaint? Uh, I'd like to, can I do both? Can I do the formal complaint and then, because uh, I, I just don't want well, to. Well, it's their option to engage in conflict resolution with you. Okay. If conflict resolution is the option that you want to offer, mm -hmm. then that will be the end of the complaint. If you complain and don't want conflict resolution, you want to, you know, you, you just want to complain. Well, I don't want to complain. I want, I mean, if, if officer, if, if officers are manhandling people for, and violating their civil rights, I mean, they went through all of my stuff, basically, and, and I was not violating the law. I mean, yeah, I'll be right there. And, then, and it's happened, and then it happened again. It was going to happen yesterday. He threatened to, the next guy who threatened to arrest me. At least these guys said it was a ticket, and I said, fine, we'll do a ticket every time you see me. Because I will fight it in court because you're, you're. I hadn't read it yet. At this point, I was just arguing. You lose. Well, that, that's fine, well, but fine. I was. I was. It was well, you my. Win. Yeah. But regardless so, of that, their as behavior. As a war commander, and you say you want to complain, yeah. I'm compelled to fill out the complaint. I, would, so I think it's better on? to have, yeah. Can you hang on for a minute, and yeah. I'll help you with Sounds the good. process, okay? Thank you. Thanks,